Today's topic is appendicitis. Appendicitis is a condition where the appendix is inflamed, swollen, or filled with pus. The appendix is a small tube of tissue that projects from your colon on the lower right side of your abdomen. The exact role of the appendix in the body is not clear. However, one study suggests its relation to abdominal immunity and infections fighting. Appendicitis pain increases and gets intense as the inflammation worsens. Anybody can develop appendicitis. However, it is more prevalent in people between the ages of 10 and 30. If left untreated, inflamed appendicitis can burst or leak, spilling infectious substance into the abdominal cavity. This can lead to a severe inflammation of the abdominal cavity that can be very bad unless treated. Causes Appendicitis is caused by the blockage of the appendix. The blockage may be as a result of thick mucus that builds up within the appendix or may be due to the stool that comes into the appendix from the cecum. The hardening of the mucus or stool blocks the appendix. The blockage may as well be due to the swelling of the lymphatic tissue that lines the wall of the appendix. After blockage, bacteria found in the appendix begins to double and invade the wall of the appendix. The response of the body to the bacteria invasion causes the appendix to be inflamed or swollen. Signs and Symptoms The major symptoms of appendicitis include loss of appetite, abdominal swelling, constipation or diarrhea, fever that may worsen as the illness progresses, painful coughing or sneezing, inability to pass gas, nausea and or vomiting at the onset of abdominal pain, dull pain anywhere in the upper abdomen that becomes sharp as it moves to the lower abdomen, severe cramps, painful urination and difficulty passing out urine. Diagnosis and Treatment Tests and procedures used to diagnose appendicitis include physical examination to assess the pain, Gentle pressure is applied to the painful area. When the pressure is suddenly released, the pain worsens, indicating an inflammation of the peritoneum. Blood test. This allows your healthcare provider to check an elevated white blood cell count, which may signal an infection. Urine test. Your healthcare provider may request for a urinalysis. The urinalysis is a microscopic test of the urine that detects white blood cells white blood cells, and bacteria in the urine. There is an abnormal range when there is an inflammation or stones in the kidney. This is done to ascertain that a urinary tract infection or kidney stone isn't the cause of the pain. Imaging tests such as x-ray, ultrasound, and CT scan, which are used to present a visualization of the abdomen, can also be used to check for inflammation. Treatment the standard treatment for appendicitis is surgery to remove the inflamed appendix. A dose of antibiotics may be administered before surgery to prevent infections. The surgical procedure to remove the appendix is called appendectomy. During this procedure, a video camera and a special surgical tool are inserted into your abdomen to remove the appendix. This surgery allows for fast recovery with less pain and scarring. If the appendix has burst and formed an abscess, the pus or fluid formed by the abscess may be drained by placing a tube through your skin into the abscess, after which an appendectomy is performed several weeks later to remove the appendix. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.